hi, nice to see you again and glad you can join me today. I'm going to show you how to make a really lovely game um, with noughts and crosses. And the beauty of this is, is that we're making out of, out of felt. And as you know, felt is very, very light and it's washable. And this game is super because you can teach a child basic stitching because you're just going to use little running stitches. We're going to be using two squares of felt and we are leaving a little opening here so that you can actually put all your little felt pieces inside a little envelope or just inside the pocket and then this slides in right between the front and the back layer as you can see there and then you can actually just roll this up and pop it in your bag. So if you're traveling or um, you have small children and you need to keep them busy in the car or in perhaps a doctor's waiting room, this is great. But also if you have a slightly older child from about five or six and you want to teach them the basics of stitching, the little running stitches are really easy to do. And you will be only doing those on one side of the fabric. So let me show you where to begin. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to need to have two pieces of felt that are 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters. And the stitching that goes around the outside edge here to join the two pieces um, together, you're going to do one, five, um, sorry, let me start again. You're going to do this half a centimeter in um, from the edge. So your 22 centimeters is going to be reduced by half a centimeter on either side. So your centerpiece will be 21 centimeters. And then you're just going to divide that by three, which will give you seven centimeters, and you're going to do a grid. So you'll have nine squares that are seven centimeters by seven centimeters. So this is your seam allowance, half a centimeter all around. And then just remember that in one side, it could be in any of these sides, but the center one, you just want to leave this open. Don't stitch across here, because that will be your little pocket here, where you're going to slide your pieces so they're nice to be stored. And I normally cut a few extra pieces because knowing little people, they often lose them. So I'm not a, um, somebody that's going to give you complicated things to do. So I've simply just drawn two little five centimeter squares. I'm taking the lid of one of these little containers and I've traced around that to get the outside um, shape of my, of my little circle for my naught. And then I have a tube, great to find things at home. And I've placed that down and used that lid to draw around to get my pattern piece which I can then cut out to make my circles. The little crosses, I've simply taken my square, drawn a diagonal line, measured half a centimeter on either side so that I can make it thicker, and there's my little cross. So it's really easy to be able to create your pattern pieces from what you already have. Now, the assembly of this and the stitching, let me discuss that. I, as I said, I'd like to cut out a few extra of these little playing pieces because I know that they do get lost on the way or somebody drops them and then it becomes rather complicated. You'll see with this bottom piece here, the brown, which I'm using as a base color, I've cut slightly bigger so that when I'm finished, I can trim the edges. I find when I work with felt, that it sometimes does stretch slightly. So if I've cut them exactly, then maybe I haven't matched them up really well. Um, so on the reverse side of my um, piece of felt, I've done exactly this. I've drawn it out in pencil. So I've drawn a half centimeter all the way around the edges. That will be my stitching line uh, when I'm joining the front and the back together. But the center grid, which you can see here in the red, that is done first. Okay, and that's only done on the top piece of your felt. So I'm simply just taking my little um, needle and I'm using some perle thread, DMC perle thread, because it's nice and thick, but you could use embroidery cotton, maybe three strands or four strands together. And I've done my little running stitches from top to bottom. So I've got two rows there and two rows there. Really easy for children to do. Then I'm taking my pins and I'm just using them to pin the corners down so that I can stitch all the way around. And then I just simply use my little running stitch. Now, when you have the two layers of felt together, it is slightly thicker. So I normally only do one or maybe two little stitches together and pull them through. And if you have children here, they will be able to see that little pencil line slightly um, 
lighter, but you can see it nevertheless from reverse side. And once you've actually stitched over it, it seems to just disappear again. So I will do my stitching, which joins the front and the back all the way around. And then once I get to the center part here, I leave that open so I've got my little pocket. And once again, I will be able to put my little pieces inside or take them out. Now, how easy is that to do? Wouldn't you like to try that with your children? Teach them a few little sewing skills or perhaps make it as a gift for somebody. Um, nice to go on an aeroplane, nice in the car, whatever you want. So it's just two squares of felt and some little bits and bobs that are left over perhaps that you could actually make this lovely little game. Please try it and I'd love to know how you get on. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.